So a couple of weeks ago, I got invited to join a group on Instagram of guitar players who were trying to do some fun things with different modes. And like the brainchild that I am, I went ahead and volunteered to do the octatonic scale, which is a synthetic mode made up of alternating uh, semitones and whole tones. I'm going to do a complete uh, rundown on that scale, a complete theory rundown on that scale in an upcoming video. Uh, but for right now, here's my intro and the song that I did from that collaboration. Take a look. Hey, what's up, Stringlings? Today I'm going to be demoing the octatonic scale, actually one of the octatonic scales. And this one in particular is an arrangement that alternate semitones and whole tones. So in Western music, we have three different species of modes. There are the natural modes, which are the ones you're familiar with. Uh, there are the altered modes, which change a note here or there, like the harmonic minor scale. And then there are synthetic modes, which are modes that are sort of created as combinations of notes. That's what this is. And the octatonic scale that I'm using follows a unique alternation of semitones and whole tones. So the actual scale formula is 1, flat 2, flat 3, 3, sharp 4, 5, 6, flat 7. This unique arrangement of notes allows you to play really in between any variety of modes. It gives you major and minor chords on the home chord. It gives you sevenths, minor sevenths, all of that is built in. And you can change keys very quickly because F sharp octatonic has the same set of notes as C octatonic with no difference, no changes. You just change what you're calling the notes, uh, which is very, very cool, uh, especially if you're in a very large ensemble. I've used this, uh, this same mode to write symphonies, uh, chamber ensemble pieces, and of course, uh, rock songs. Now, what I'm doing with it here is kind of sliding it into this concept of what can we do with all of these modes in C. Uh, it has characteristics similar to Locrian and Lydian and, and Mixolydian and all these other modes. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing it mostly on uh, my Strat, but uh, to get that really heavy bass sound, I've gone with my uh, detuned Series A, which is tuned down to a C standard, so we get that really low bottom end C. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, check it out. So there you have it. So it's myself and uh, seven other guitar players all doing basically that. Uh, we're all doing our own take on the assigned mode that we got. And this was all put together by Barry from B to the T Studios. So if you enjoyed that, uh, do me a favor. Obviously, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But take a look down in the description. You'll see a link to Barry's complete video with all eight of us doing our thing on our various modes. Uh, and you'll also see uh, links to everybody's individual uh, YouTube channels. So you'd really be helping me out if you could do me a favor, visit my friends' channels down there, take a look and, uh, and uh, give them a like, give them a, a, a sub, and uh, enjoy their content because they're really, really some fantastic players doing some really, really great content. So check them out. And one more thing before we go, I just wanted to mention, this has just come out. This is the album um, 2020 American Dream by This Mad Desire. Uh, and the reason I'm, I'm plugging this one in particular, I mean, not, not withstanding that it's a, it's a good album, um, but uh, is that I am playing the lead guitar on the title track on this album, which is, um, you know, that's why I got 
my copy early. Uh, but you can get this on vinyl. You can also uh, get it digitally through most of the major channels, but I am putting the Bandcamp link to the title track in the description below. Check it out. American Dream by This Mad Desire. That's it for now. Have yourselves a great day.